And Republican lawmakers are meeting next week. They appear to be cracking open a door to allow Medicaid expansion in the state of Georgia. Yeah, it would rep represent a real shift in Georgia where GOP leadership has refused the federal funding from the Obama era program. 11 Alive's Doug Richards is in Brookhaven right now with more on why this matters, Doug. Well, and just to review, Medicaid expansion would allow more low-income Georgians to visit more clinics like this one more often. Georgia is one of nine states that has declined to exp expand Medicaid, but some Republican leaders at the Capitol are at least hinting that they're willing to look at it again. I was the deciding, one of the deciding votes. The speaker was a Republican state senator from Arkansas who was at Georgia's capital talking up her state's expansion of Medicaid. Generally, it's always about the money. But I can assure you, you know, when you look at economic development, health care is economic development. Republican Missy Irvin told Georgia lawmakers in November that expanding Medicaid kept rural hospitals open in Arkansas and saved people's lives. The Georgia Republican Committee chairman said this. I'm trying to get my head wrapped around all this. This sounds incredibly good and sensible. In Georgia, an estimated 19 percent of the population under 65 has no health insurance, according to the CDC. It's an issue Democrats like Stacey Abrams have championed for years. When voters elected Brian Kemp twice as governor, he rejected Medicaid expansion. I'm one of those that uh, I've never been in favor of it in the past. But Lieutenant Governor Burt Jones told us this week he's willing to at least talk about Medicaid expansion this legislative session. Jones is behind a separate health care issue that would eliminate government roadblocks to building new health facilities. I'm always open to discussion on any subject matter. It's up to them to, to make it happen. Um, they are in the majority party. Advocate Liz Ernst thinks other Republicans could compromise on Medicaid expansion if Jones does. It's a no-brainer. So it has been very frustrating not understanding why this hasn't um, been accepted by Republicans in Georgia. So Republicans fundamentally don't like Medicaid expansion because it is an Obamacare program. Uh, it's worth remembering that 2024 is an election year. This legislative session, which commences next week, will have that flavor to it, uh, making this uh, a bit of a long shot, at least for this year. Uh, we are live in Brookhaven tonight. Back to you.